So guys, in the previous video I've explained how to extrude your line in your own desired directions. If you haven't seen it, check it out, links are in the description. So there were some questions like, why didn't you just you know, convert it to an editable poly and give the shell? This uh, would uh, solve our problem, why didn't you do that? So if I want to show you really quickly, go to the front view, and I have an spline here. I convert this to an editable poly. So as you can see, our spline uh, become an object. We have no problem. We can give the shell, and this works like extrude. So when we have a clean line like this, there's no problem to do such a thing. But sometimes in the middle of the project, we have, we have some little problems like here uh, I've imported this model directly from AutoCAD. If I give it an extrude, we can see we have some little problems like in this case it's because of uh, welding vertices. And I go to this line, click one, and grab all my vertices and weld them together. Now, if I go to the extrude, our problem is completely solved. So, that was the welding problem, but sometimes, I delete this, we don't need that. For example, uh, consider this uh, as an object that uh, is a little broken. I want to recreate it and quickly, for example, draw these lines and if I add an edit poly to this model, to this spline, you can see it becomes disappear. And that's because our vertices are not uh, aligned to the same direction. 3ds Max in making lines to surfaces is a little weak. And giving a cap or, I don't know, reset an X form or, for example, even give it a surface modifier won't uh, solve our problems. But extrude is a little tricky here. So, if I extrude it, the direction is wrong. And I just, by turning on auto grid and draw the line here and Let's delete the extrude modifier for now. Convert this to an editable spline. Attach my first line to it and give it an extrude. You can see the line is extruding very well. Delete the rectangle. And here we go. For example, 200. Now, as you can see, there's a little problems in the model and you can easily fix it by uh, converting this to an editable poly and uh, a slice from wherever you want. In this case, do not use the connect. Uh, as you can see, if I uh, connect the lines and uh, delete these unwanted parts, and let's give it a cap. Grab borders, give it a cap, and you can see the problem stays the same. So what we can do here, uh, I uh, grab all my vertices and click on the slice plane, uh, slice from wherever I want, or I can slice it from the middle and use chamfer and delete non-wanted parts. And if I give this area a cap, you can see that our problem is completely solved. That's why I use extrude instead of converting to an edit poly or some similar methods like that. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I have some other tips and tricks in my YouTube channel or Instagram account. Have a good day.